Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny and I'm the tie guy. This is my YouTube channel and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie not known to man and I'm bringing that to you. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. Alright, this time I invented another one. I've mashed up the Merovingian knot and the Eldridge knot to come up with the caped Eldridge knot. I hope you guys like it. It's super short. I've got a high cut vest on to cover up because it only comes down to right there. So you'll, you'll need a cardigan, sweater vest, something like that to pull this one off. So I want to show you how to do that right now. So this one doesn't start off with wrapping it over your neck. You're going to start off with wrapping it over your finger and you're going to have about this much length that keeps it above if you're wearing a vest or jacket that you can see the end of the tie. You don't want to hide this part of the tie. Alright, let's have a closer look at this. Okay, so you're draping it over your finger, your little end of your necktie, and you're going to make yourself a pinch, like so. So just the very bottom is pinched and looks like that. Okay, so taking the big end, I want to fold this in half. So I'm going to take this, fold it in half, I'm twisting it a little bit. So I have the folded side on that side, open side on that side. Open up your fingers, you have a gap through here, I want to pull the fold through like so. Crossing over the front. So I want this quite low to where my pinch is. This is where I want everything to happen. I don't, I don't want this. I want this just to be just like so. So I just have a tiny bit sticking out the bottom. This will all get, all of this will get covered. So crossing the front, I'm going to bring that around the back and up and over. Just like you would do an Eldridge knot. And then I have a gap in, be, in behind here between my fingers. I'm going to feed this necktie through there. Grab the back, pull it through. From here, just like the Eldridge knot, I'm pinching my fingers together to hope, help hold this loop open while I feed this folded end through here. Take it all the way through. You can tighten that up a little bit, but you don't want to be tight because I still need to feed the tie through at the very end. So with that cross at the back, now it your opening that you keep in your fingers, you're going to feed that necktie through again and it's going to loop up and around and cross the other way. So here I'm going to pull it through. So first I'll pull it through. You can see where I need to make a correction now because now my smooth side is facing out, open side is facing in. So in behind the knot, I'm going to twist it and fix that. And now I can do that loop over like so without losing my fold in my, or try not to lose my fold in my necktie. So the pinch is being held by the knot now, which is great. I can hold a bit of the tie between my fingers and the back. And now I'm going to feed this up and through. This is the last time I'm going to be doing this Eldridge knot. And again, I have the same problem. I have the smooth side on the back, open side on the front. I twist it around in the back. Now I feed it up and through that loop. That goes all the way through. Make sure my seams are not showing. And I want to just snug that up. Take my finger out of there. I just want to snug that up. I don't want it to be tight. I just don't want it to be messy and loose. At this point, this will go around our neck and you're going to be feeding your tie through where I have my finger hole. So here I go. I'm going to be retracting my finger and I'm going to be pushing it through with my thumb and hopefully I don't wreck my knot as I'm doing it. So I've got, I've got it pinched now. I want to hold my knot together, gently hold my knot together with one hand and start to feed that through. At this point you can start seeing the knot come to life. So I want to put this 
I want to put this on my neck uh, fairly soon, but this is the point where now I can tighten it if I if it isn't good looking enough right now, this is my best chance to tighten this before actually getting it on my neck because I can't really see that well what I'm doing when I'm showing it to you guys unless I'm in front of a mirror a lot closer to me. So I'm just going to tighten it up quickly here just so it looks the part. Pull a little bit more through. Okay, now I can put this on my neck. Okay, so there's my knot. I'm going to take the, <laughs> the big end that came through the side holding onto my knot. This is your chance to cinch it up to your neck. If it's gotten a little bit loose, this is also your opportunity before it disappears to fix up your Eldritch knot. So I'm just trying to make sure it still looks pretty good. If the outsides are not perfect, it will be hidden by so that Merovingian look anyways. Hold on, I'm going to fix this. Okay, so I'm back. So I've just tightened it up. It's a lot of, you know, finding out exactly where each part comes through, where is the beginning, and where do you start tightening it. So if you didn't want to watch me for five minutes, uh, sort of fiddling with it until I've gotten tight enough here, but this is sort of where you, you've already tied it. You just need to find the beginning and work your way backwards to tighten this up. So this is where you would have fed the big end all the way around. So that would just tighten this, but you can follow it all the way around to the beginning and then work your way backwards and tighten this up. Okay. All right, so here your seam side should be facing out. If it's not, just twist your tie over like so, and you're gonna feed it up through the back of your necktie. I'm gonna leave this portion right here. It's gonna get covered up anyways, but if I pull it all the way through, it's gonna wreck the way my uh, Merovingian portion of this knot looks like. Okay, now taking the big end, feed it around the back, and it's gonna come up through the top of your necktie and back down. So you're gonna take this big end through the loop and proceed to tighten that. And my belt loop just is just showing there. And I don't like that, but I know my collar is gonna hide most of that if I can just get it tucked around the back like so. Because really, all you're going to see past the collar is something like this. So get my mini Eldridge knot in the middle. Collar down. Oh, so my loop is still showing so I can pull that or I can cinch that up to my neck and hide that. There we go. That is how the caped Eldridge knot is done and I hope you like that. It's my baby. Please be nice in the comments to me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I've got another one I just invented coming up next.